What if you have an existing trading system or trading bot and you want to improve it? How can you use AI to do that? I'm gonna be showing you in today's video. Before we get started, hello, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build code and trade automated trading systems on the futures market to make a return for myself. If you wanna learn more about automated trading, how to build good trading bots and best practices, see the links in the description below. So what I did today was I developed a very simple gold swing strategy. I just built a template using Stratch and our software to generate strategies. And it came up with these signals for the in-sample period. So it's, it's long only, uh, it enters when the RSI is less than 80 and the close is less than the EMA 50. And then it exits when the, higher, when the high is greater than the SMA 100. It's got no profit targets or stop losses and it trades on gold daily bars. So here's the in-sample equity curve, uh, obviously look, which looks really good. It doesn't trade too often because it does hold over multiple days. Um, but we want it to remove or sorry, improve the maximum drawdown. We actually want to lower it. So here's a tip for you. Although uh, this is an IndiTrader backtest, this max drawdown is not based on intra-trade, all right? It's only when you close a trade. So it does say it has a 4.1K max drawdown, but if you look at trades like this one, you were probably in a very big loss here, right? Well, actually, the, the way to look at the intra-trade drawdown is go to the, the analysis tab here, and then go to the average MAE column and sort it. We can see we had a couple of trades here where they were in 18,000 intra-trade drawdown, 12,000, 10,000, much bigger than that 4,000. So there's a tip for you um, folks out here that use NinjaTrader, you know, you, make sure you check this average MAE max adverse excursion. That's your actual intra-trade drawdown. Anyways, we're gonna use AI to improve this and get this drawdown lower. So we're actually not making the 4,000 lower. We wanna make this 18,000 much lower. So I've powered up ChatGPT and DeepSeek to do that. So what I did was I pasted my code, my gold system here, and I said, I have this NinjaTrader Gold Futures daily bar strategy. Can you improve it to lower the max drawdown? And I gave it the C-sharp code to do that. Now these LLMs can't backtest for you unless you actually give it daily bar data. So it gave me suggestions and that's what I would use these for is the suggestions part, but make sure you test on your own to make sure it's valid. So it gave me about five suggestions ranging from using ATR stop losses, uh, volatility based entries, all that. So I essentially just copied the code that it spit out to me. So I copied it out and we have that here. This is the ChatGPT optimized code. And then I did the same for DeepSeek. So it gave me refining the entry conditions using a volume filter and a trend confirmation, basically two more signals. It gave me an ATR trail stop exit, position sizing based on risk, drawdown limiter, it told me I could optimize the parameters, all that sort of stuff multiple time frames. I just took the first two suggestions, the entry filter and the exit trail stop, because the other suggestions I'd have to code it quite a bit. And it also would involve multiple contract sizes. And I like testing on a base to one contract just to keep things simple. So I plug that in here. Let me move over here. So we have our, this is our deep seek optimized strategy. We have our chat GPT optimized strategy, and then we have the original strategy. It's called gold dip, that's what I named it. All right, so here's the original strategy. I already showed you that. Now let's test the chat GPT and the deep seek, and I wanna see if our drawdowns actually got lower. So I'm gonna open a new tab here and change the strategy name to Gold Dip ChatGPT Optimize. Let me just pull it up here. Uh, 
All right, so go down to G, Gold Dip Long, ChatGPT Optimized. It's added a couple parameters for us, like these ATR multipliers, break even. All right, so make sure we have the same settings. It had two ticks of slippage on gold daily bars. All right, so let's hit that. Uh, we get, did it actually? Back test, it looks like it's not getting any results, so there must be an error. Two ways to check errors in IndiaTrader. The first way is to go to your log. Uh, I don't see any errors here. Okay. May actually not be an error, it could be a logic error. Another way is to right click anywhere on the screen and select uh, NinjaScript output. And then let's hit run on that. Yeah, I don't see any errors. If I go to chart, we see data is loading. All right, so let me take a look at the source code here. Uh, this is the ChatGPT optimized one. All right, so EMA 50. So the entry, the actual entry looks the same. RSI is less than 80 and the close is less than the EMA 50. That's correct. And then we have an enter long here. And our close trade max drawdown is 6.2K. Let me look at the MAE. Sorry, in our analysis here. Uh, no, it actually got worse at went up from 18,000 to 20,000 on the deep seek version. So the actual intra-trade drawdown went up as well as the closed trade drawdown. So its suggestions were not that great. All right, so deep seek is working, uh, but the chat GPT version is not. Let me see if I can fix this on my own here. Uh, we have, so we have an EMA. Now EMA is on configure. I thought, I, I think for indicators, you're supposed to use data loaded for that. So let me try that. Data loaded. Current bar is less than 50. So it's not trading the first 50 days, which is okay. RSI is less than equal to 40 and the close is less than the EMA 50. Okay, so yeah, it was my bad. I had one of the range parameters set to 11, but by default its value was one. So this ATR multiplier stop probably was running an invalid error. And I, I mistyped that. Okay, so chat GPT, the closed trade, down, uh, closed trade max drawdown went up to 9,000. If we go to the MAE, all right, so ChatGPT successfully lowered it. Yeah, the biggest uh, intra-trade drawdown was 4.8K, so it successfully lowered it quite a bit. Uh, the closed trade went up, but that's fine. So that's awesome. ChatGPT was successful, it lowered it by, it cut it in half essentially. Deep sea failed, it made it bigger, so its suggestions were not good. Now, the other thing I wanted to test too was out of sample performance. Um, that gold strategy that I built was only in sample from 2020 to 2021. So it was essentially fit for those that year and a half. Let's see which one did the best out of sample. So I'm gonna change the end date to today, uh, February, 2025. So the normal gold strategy did do better, it made new equity highs actually very recently. Went through quite a drawdown in uh, 2023 and 2024. Well, I'd say mostly 2023, 2024 it rebounded. So that's pretty good. Let's check the deep seek one. Let's see if it makes more money, it probably should. Yeah, deep seek one did make more money but had a much bigger drawdown. 
So risk adjusted, it's a worse strategy, would not trade it. Now ChatGPT, let's see if it does better. Not much better. It made more money. Once again, risk adjusted, it wasn't as good as the original. So in conclusion, the ChatGPT version was able to lower our drawdown successfully for that time period. So it was successful. DeepSeek made it bigger, so it did not, did not actually improve the strategy, what we were looking to do. Um, yeah, so ChatGPT definitely succeeded in improving our trading system. Now, the out of sample results, the original was the best, um, had the best risk adjusted return. Um, basically, it had the, the lowest drawdown and the most net profit. Um, both DeepSeek and ChatGPT versions also made more P&L, which is good, but risk adjusted wasn't as good. So, you know, to answer our question of can you improve trading systems with AI, you can, you can, you can. ChatGPT did improve our system and made it better. Um, it was able to lower our drawdown, cut it in half, and potentially make a trading system that you would actually trade. Would I actually trade any of those systems? No, because once we gave it out of sample results, the risk adjusted returns were not that good. Um, they all had a sub 2.0 return to drawdown. So if you take the net profit divided by the max drawdown, it was sub 2.0, would not trade that system. So would not recommend it. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you found value in this. You know, We found that ChatGPT did lower our drawdown and was better at actually generating the code for us. So DeepSeek was not as good. Anyways, hope you found value in this video and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.